Welcome, my name is Dr. Vinay Samuel Gaikwad. I'm a surgical oncologist who specializes in uh, gastrointestinal and hepatopancreatic biliary cancer surgery. Uh, we're going to be discussing particular special surgery today called Whipple uh, pancreatic duodenectomy. A uh, Whipple surgery is performed for tumors as well as cancers of the head of the pancreas as well as what we call the periampullary region. That means the distal or the lowermost part of the bile duct, second part of the duodenum and also the pancreas. This is done for cancers as well as other tumors such as uh, neuroendocrine tumors, other cystic neoplasms of the pancreas and so on which are placed towards the head or the um, neck of the pancreas. So uh, in this surgery, many people are concerned that it's a very major surgery and uh, what, are, what are the risks involved, uh, what will be removed during the operation and how will it, the anatomy, so to speak, be restored after the operation. So to answer the question, in a good center, a Whipple operation is a very, very safe procedure with a less than 1% uh, mortality rate. Complication rate also extremely low. Uh, the main complication being what we call a pancreatic fistula or a leakage of the pancreatic juice. To understand uh, what this procedure it is basically a procedure to remove the part of the pancreas about 20 to 25 percent of the pancreas is removed what we call the ancinate process the head and the neck of the pancreas along with the bile duct, the gallbladder and um, the duodenum or which is part of the intestine. Also lymph nodes which are surrounding the, the pancreas is also removed uh, in order to make sure that we've done a complete staging and removed all uh, possible tumor in that region. And this procedure can be done through a conventional or open technique as well as through minimal invasive techniques such as laparoscopy or robotic surgery. Uh, either way, it is a safe procedure and after these, uh, uh, this part of the, these organs are removed, three parts are joined together. One is with the intestine, one is with the stomach, one is with the bile duct and one is with the pancreas. So the stomach and the bile duct are relatively safe anastomosis. Pancreatic anastomosis is the most weak part although it is still at the range of 5 to 10 percent leak rates which can be controlled usually through very conservative or non-operative techniques and the patient can still do very well. So uh, uh, this procedure called Whipple procedure has to be done in good centers which are used to or frequently performing these procedures and uh, therefore we can get good surgical outcomes and then the entire multi team will decide what further treatment needs to be performed. So I hope this information gives you an idea of what a Whipple procedure is and what it entails and thank you for your attention.